my channel. So as you can see, I am back with another makeup tutorial. And yes, it is another collab. This time I have decided to collab with my girl Shanae here on YouTube. Me and Shanae started talking like a month ago. Um, and we decided that we should just do a collab. And we came up with the idea of doing a Rihanna collab. And since there's two sides to Rihanna, the good girl and the bad girl, she decided that she was going to do the bad girl version of Rihanna. And I decided I was going to do the good girl. For a while now, I have and she just looks so beautiful and just so flawless and angelic. I believe she was at the Teen Choice Awards with this look and um, I just love it. And of course, it's a look when she's rocking her short hair too because you know I'm all about the short hair. If you guys are interested to see what Sinead came up for the Rihanna inspired collab, all of her information will be linked down below. Without further ado, if you would like to know how I got this Rihanna inspired face, just continue to watch and of course, I hope you guys enjoy it. As you can see, it was definitely a struggle this morning. But anyway, moving forward, as you can see, I did my eyebrows. If you want to know how I did them, tutorial will be linked down below. So moving forward, I'm first going to prime my face with my Benefit Professional. Next, I'm going to take my Benefit Fake Up in dark and just to conceal my under eye baggage because Rihanna ain't got no under eye baggage. Well, as far as we know. And then I'm just going to blend it out with my Damp Beauty Blender. For foundation, I went with my CoverGirl 3-in-1, shouldn't be a surprise, and I'm just going to take my damp beauty blender and just blend that throughout my face. Next, moving on to eyes, I'm just going to prime my lids with my MAC Paint Pot and Paint Julie. It didn't look like Rihanna had much eyeshadow on, so I'm just going to first take my Maybelline Color Tattoo and Bad to the Bronze with my Sigma E58 brush. I'm just going to place that all over my lid just to give it some type of sheen. Next, going into the Lorac Pro Palette, I'm just going to take Taupe and Sable and mix them together on a fluffy brush, and I'm just going to blend that from my crease up to my brow bone. Then I'm just going to take what's left over on the brush and blend it over back to the bronze so that it looks a little bit more like a natural lid color. Staring away from my eyes for just a second, I'm going to highlight my face. You already know, cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, cupid's bow, bottom of my chin, you know the deal. And then I'm just going to take my damp beauty blender and blend that on out. Next, to avoid creasing, I'm just going to take my Ben Nye Banana Powder to set that concealer. Okay, so moving back on to the eyes, I'm going to take Max Petrol Blue Eyeliner from the Archie's Collection and I'm going to create that winged eyeliner that Rihanna has in the picture. Rihanna doesn't have as almond of eyes as I do, so I made it look a little bit more slanted to kind of accommodate my eyes a little bit better. And as you can see, I did have a few mess ups, so don't worry, we're going to fix that up later anyway. Okay, so now I'm going to take MAC's Deep Truth Eyeshadow with a MAC 231 brush and I'm just going to set that eyeliner that we just created. So 
now taking the lightest shade in Max Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in Medium Deep. I'm just going to take a concealer brush and clean up the eyeliner that we created earlier. And just to blend it out, I'm going to use my damp beauty blender once more. Now I'm just going to take Max Cold Pencil in Feline to line my waterline. And to set that pencil, I'm just going to take the black from the Lorac Pro palette with a Sigma pencil. Okay, so now for a highlight, I'm just going to take the color cream with a Sigma angled brush and I'm going to highlight my brow bone. And it doesn't really look like she has too much of an inner corner highlight, so I'm just going to pop that in there just for a subtle one. You can definitely tell that Rihanna had some contouring going on, so I'm first going to take my MAC Fluffy brush with my Sleek Cosmetics Contouring Palette in dark, and I'm going to chisel out my nose, and then I'm just going to chisel out my cheekbones. Next, I am going to blend out that contour with my CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer with a Real Techniques contouring brush, and then I'm just going to follow up by contouring the rest of my face. very natural hue to her cheeks in the picture so I decided to go with two different things first I'm going to take wet and wild by the Fergie collection in rose golden goddess and I'm going to apply that to my cheeks with a stippling brush and then I'm going to take love joy by Mac and I'm going to apply it to the apples of my cheeks with the same exact stippling brush Then, of course, you know, blend, 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 so there aren't any harsh lines. So it wasn't apparent that Rihanna had on falsies, so obviously she was rocking those natural lashes, which I love. So I'm going to load up those lashes with some coats of mascara. Moving on to lips, so I'm first going to take a Max Magenta lip liner and I'm just going to line and fill in my lips. And then I'm going to take a Max Girl About Town lipstick and I'm going to place this right on top of Max Magenta lip liner. And that concludes this Rihanna inspired makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. Be sure to thumbs up if you want more celebrity inspired looks. And if you are new to my channel or coming from Shanae's channel, be sure to click that subscribe button located right underneath. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.